Are you making this rookie mistake in your sales copy on your landing pages and your videos? Find out in this video. Hello ladies and gents, my name is Matt Ackerson, I'm the founder of autogrow.co and welcome to another episode of Matt Hacks. In these videos, I give you actionable tips, usually just one, for how to be more marketing awesome, for how to accelerate your creativity and entrepreneurial spirit. All right, so in this video, we're talking about the rookie mistake that you might be making and not even know it in your sales copy. This mistake is so fundamental that even if you think you're doing it, chances are that you might be doing it completely wrong. So what is it exactly? What is this fundamental thing that I'm talking about that you actually absolutely have to do that all expert marketers do and do exceptionally well in order to maximize sales and conversions? What is it? Well, here's what it is. And let me put it this way. If your landing page is not converting, it could be that this is the problem, that this is the reason why you're actually not converting. It could be because you're not identifying with your customer's pain point. All right, so that's what it is. It is about identifying with people's pain points in order to lead them towards the logical conclusion of your solution. Now, this may include the element of pacing and leading, a, a separate technique that I will talk about in a future video and article. But for today, I want to underscore the importance of on your landing page, in your sales copy, in your emails, you have to be emphasizing the pain points. You have to explain the pain in the words of your customers back to them so that they are identifying with what you are saying because what you wrote identifies with how they feel. All right. And you might say in response to this, ah, Matt, what are you talking about? I already know about this. I know about the importance of stating the pain on the page. You know, you, you, you state the problem then you agitate the pain, then you talk about the solution and the benefits and the FAQ and blah, blah, blah. I know that. You're not telling me anything new. But wait, there's more. You see, even though I have over a decade of experience as an entrepreneur in digital marketing, I still didn't realize the fundamental importance of this lesson. So for me, I knew, oh yeah, you know, you need to start with the pain. You need to state the problem. And maybe we devote a paragraph, maybe two paragraphs, a couple of bullet points to it. However, I've been studying the top online marketers recently. I'm subscribed to over 200 newsletters that I know of, probably more. And I read their newsletters. I read their email sequences. I, I look at their landing pages. I'm like a sponge on the internet. I'm always just kind of looking at whatever is out there that seems to be working and performing well so that it can come back and deliver it to you guys in these videos. But as far as this is concerned, what I have learned recently and really internalized is this fundamental truth that the top performing marketers, what they do is they will identify through their copywriting, in their emails, on their landing pages, so their words will be so aligned to identify so well and so subtly with their customer's pain points that as a customer who has bought products, you just find yourself kind of almost like lulled into a sort of trance in a way because you're like, yeah, like he's talking about me. He's talking about my problem or I relate to this in some way. And part of that is the style and the, the structure of the language in some cases. But it's, I, I think that Dane Maxwell said it best in an in interview not so long ago with Andrew Warner over at Mixergy.com. He said, and I'm going to paraphrase, if people believe that you identify with their problem, that, that, that you understand, understanding is one of the most uh, fundamental and grounding and common of all human needs to be understood. If people under, feel that you understand their pain point, their problem, they will automatically assume that you have the solution to it. 
All right, so let's bring this back to one action point that you can take away from this video and start working on right now. So you get what I'm saying, right? You understand that this is something important that you have to do in terms of making your copy effective, whether you're uh, uh, executing a launch, whether you're putting on a webinar, whether you have an email sequence leading up to a product offer, whatever it is, this is one of the most effective ways to relate to your audience and build a bond that will lead to a sale. So in practice though, how do you actually go about executing this? Well, the way that I've started applying uh, this internalized lesson is you you can study some examples that are out there. So as I mentioned, I subscribe to a bunch of different marketing newsletters to get a, a feel, especially from the top marketers that I know are really killing it right now, what they are doing and how they do it. But what I would say is keep your copy conversational. Use words like, but ask questions specifically like, you know that blah, blah, blah is true, right? But then blah, blah, blah pops up. And really, I think at a core level, what you're trying to do is to tell the story back to your prospective customer of their pain point, right? So for example, you know, let's say that you want to, to sell a service around, you know, uh, tax preparation for, um, you know, entrepreneurs who are busy and who work remotely. Well, you might say something like, you know, you know it comes around every, every year, but you're always stuck doing it last minute because you just have too many other priorities. You know, the problem is, is that sure, you end up getting it done, but are you getting as much money back as you could be? Are you taking all the deduct deductibles that you can? Because, hey, you can't be, you're busy. You, you can't be expected to know, you know, all of this, information about the the tax code which is as as thick and as tall as a as a building you know and when you're actually doing it you hate it you're hating every minute of it you want to be working on your business so what do you do you go to your local accountant and you ask him or her like hey can you take this over for me but they're not specialized in your type of business they're not um, they're they're in many cases they're not a, uh, a digital nomad type of entrepreneur, and so on and so forth. You kind of get what I'm saying from that example, all right? So that's the one key takeaway from today, all right? So take action, apply it, come back here, let me know your results. Now, if you never want to miss out on another Matt hack, make sure you hit the subscribe button on YouTube directly below this video, or you can put in your email address to make sure that it arrives in your inbox daily, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, is when we send out Matt Hacks uh, by opting in with your email address in the description below. If you're watching this on our blog, the link is also directly below this video in the yellow box. So go ahead and sign up now to never miss another Matt Hack. So tune in tomorrow when I show you how to use Google Drawing to map out your funnel. It's going to be really interesting and I think you're going to get a lot out of it. So until next time, my name is Matt Hack and Matt Hat delivering you your daily dose of Mad Hacks. I'll see you in the next video.